Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we'll be looking at the total cost equation and answering a couple of questions about it that you might see on a homework assignment or perhaps on a test. With that said, let's get into it. So here's the question that we'll be looking at specifically. A firm has a total cost function represented by the equation TC is equal to 150 plus 235Q. Use this function to answer the following questions. First, what is the firm's total variable cost? Second, what is the firm's total fixed cost? Third, what is the firm's average variable cost? What is the firm's average fixed cost? What is the firm's average total cost? And then finally, what is the firm's marginal cost? Now you can actually determine all of this just by looking at one equation, the total cost equation. Granted, you cannot find numerical values without knowing Q, so I will go over this as if you don't know Q, and if you were told Q in the, in the question, then all you would need to do is substitute it in and solve for any of these costs. So let's start with part A. What is the firm's total variable cost? We know that total cost consists of two different costs added together, the total fixed cost and the total variable cost. Well, the variable cost is variable as it depends on how many units are produced. So looking at our total cost equation, it would be the section of the total cost that depends on Q. And in this case, it would have to be multiplied by Q. And so we can see that the total variable cost is equal to 235Q. Since 235 is the cost per unit, and that will go up or down depending on how many units you produce, as that's what's denoted by Q. Well then, it should be simple for us to see the fixed cost, because that would be the part of the total cost that is not dependent on Q whatsoever. And that would be the 150 at the front. The total fixed cost is equal to 150, because even if quantity produced was zero, you would still have a cost of 150. That's why we call it a fixed cost. It is not variable in any way, and it is not dependent on your quantity output. Now let's take a look at part C. What is the firm's average variable cost? Well, we know that average variable cost is total variable cost divided by Q. And we know the total variable cost because we just calculated it, it's 235Q. So substituting that in, we get average variable cost is equal to 235Q divided by Q. And obviously Q over Q is just one, so they cancel out and that gives me a value of 235 for my average variable cost. What about part D, my average fixed cost? Well, similar to average variable cost, the average fixed cost is just total fixed cost divided by Q. And I know my total fixed cost is right here, it's 150 from part B. And if I substitute that in, I'll get 150 over Q. Now, because I don't know what Q is, this would be my final answer. However, if I did know the value of Q, then I would substitute that in here and that would give me my numerical solution. What about the average total cost? Well, we know that average total cost is just the sum of average fixed cost and average variable cost. So if we add these up, we have our average variable cost here and we have our average fixed cost here. If we add these together, we'll get an equation that looks like this. Average total cost is equal to 235 plus 150 over Q. And once again, that's just the sum of average variable and average fixed cost. The final question asks us for the marginal cost. Well, the marginal cost is the increase in the total cost when you increase the quantity output by one unit. Now, this happens to be a linear cost equation, which means that the marginal cost is just the slope of the total cost curve. And since it's linear and it follows the form y equals mx plus b, then we know that the slope of this line is just 235. That is, if you increase the quantity by one unit of output, then you will increase total cost by 235. So there you have it. That's how you use the total cost equation to find all of these associated cost values. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comments section what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.